Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this one is a viewer request by uh, Anthony's West Texas Rides. He uh, left a comment on one of my videos and wanted to know more about this, so I thought I'd share it with the rest of you guys. Uh, this is the Shad SH45 top box that I installed last week on the 2018 Honda Goldwing. Um, and I'm going to show you just you know how it opens up, the storage capacity, that sort of thing. But I just wanted to also mention um, you know, just about the parts of it and the prices if I can. So let's get started. Alright guys, so here's a close-up, more close-up version of the top box that you can see. Uh, it comes with uh, two of these keys. So, to unlock it, turn the key so it's vertical. Pull the, uh, this lever, and then you pull this one below it, and it pops it open. And it's got these two little um, supports that help support it when it's open. And it also has this little bungee cord connector, so when you put stuff in there, you can put this over it so it doesn't move around too much. And I'm going to try and put my helmet in here, which I haven't done yet, and see if that fits a full face helmet. I don't know if it's going to or not. Possibly if I lay it on its side. Oh, there you go. So it fits a full face helmet, which is cool. So you don't have to hang it on your bike anywhere like that. <clears throat> so if you lay your helmet on its side, I have a large helmet here. This is HJC helmet. Um, so I don't know, depending on the helmet you have, it may or may not fit, but it looks like it fits okay. So now, to actually take this thing off, down below there's another lever here. So you pull that forward and the whole thing comes right off and you can just carry it wherever you want to go. So if you're going to a hotel room, you can just take the whole thing off. You don't have to take everything out. You can just take it all off. Now let's put this down here. Now, let's see if I can get you a little closer. Alright, so uh, under these two plates here are where the bolts are that mount the mounting plate. So I'm going to try and show you that, guys, so you guys can see what that looks like. They, there's little tabs here that are under this thing that you just need to kind of pop out. There we go. So I'll do one side for you. So you can see, see if you can see that. So here and here are screws that go in and there's two on the other side. And I'll take... There we go. It's definitely takes a little effort to get them in there and get them off. So let's take these off. And I'll show you what the mounting plate looks like that goes into the gold wing itself before you put the top plate on here. The only, I would say the only hard part about this whole installation is getting the holes lined up uh, for the plate from Shad that you mount everything to. Alright, so here's the mounting plate, and you can see there's four bolts here, and if you're familiar with Goldwing at all, or this particular Goldwing, uh, there's two little tabs, I'm not going to take this thing off because it's a pain in the butt, but there's two little tabs, and I'm gonna, let me see if I can show you I don't know if you could see it, but underneath here, there are, um, you have to drill two holes on each side to put the bolts through in order for it to be mounted. And I mean, it's on there. It's not going anywhere. So, so it's very secure. So if you guys are looking for, um, you know, a top box to mount to the non-Tor Goldwing, uh, Shad is definitely a good option, and uh, let me put this back on. I'll talk to you a little bit more about it. 
All right, guys. Well, that wraps up this video for today. Uh, I hope you find it informative and useful for those of you who are looking for a top box for the 2018 Plus Goldwing non-tour version. Um, <clears throat> some other options. I mean, I don't know. I didn't find too many. Actually, to be honest, I didn't find too many options for this bike. Um, Shad seemed to be the best one. Jivy didn't have anything. Uh, I didn't really find anything anywhere else. Honda wanted like 400 bucks for the top plate that mounts to the Goldwing itself, which is crazy. Uh, why would you spend $400 on that? Um, so I just spent, I think it was 70 bucks on that. And for this whole thing right here, including the backrest, I think it was about 250 maybe a little more. Uh, but the whole thing was under 350 So if that helps you guys make a decision about something like this, great. Um, you know, if you know somebody who's looking to do something similar to this, uh, just tell them that Shad can hook them up. So, um, I guess that's about it. Anthony's West Texas Rides, I hope this helps make a decision for you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.